When you see coach building, you're going to see the beginnings of the Scottish car industry to all intents and purposes. You're going to see the transition from men making horse-drawn vehicles to vehicles with an internal combustion engine in them. And it turns out that the men who built the coaches that were pulled by horses were exactly the same men who built the bodies for the cars. The basic pattern of, of making a wooden coach is much the same as making a wooden body for a car. Because of the, the weight of the engine and the size of the vehicles, you have to use metal instead of wood in a lot of it, so you just change your tools a bit. You'll see the governess cart first, which is the only horse-drawn vehicle in this display. And it's there specifically to show you the contrast between a horse-drawn vehicle and what then becomes a car. You should then see the very first chassis made by Albion, which is the first motor car exhibit acquired by Glasgow Museums ever, 1901. So it's hugely important, and it's hugely important to Albion who made it as well. You then move on from that to see what it's like when you put a body on top of a chassis. So then you look at something called a dog cart. The dog cart is called that because it used, when it was horse-drawn, to have a space at the back where the dogs sat. And you took, you took it off hunting and the, the dogs sat in there. Instead of dogs, you're going to see an engine in there. But it's open to the elements you could be forgiven for expecting to see horses hitched to the front of this. It looks so much like a horse-drawn vehicle. And lastly, we move into the bigger motor car. It's still open, but it's a big motor car, and it's obviously a motor car. Things have changed. I think people don't necessarily associate horse-drawn vehicles with motor cars, and I'm trying to interest them in the in-between stage. We have the definitive collection of Scottish cars and they're hand-built, beautifully engineered cars that Scots need to be reminded about. When our visitors come into the Riverside Museum, I would like them to approach coach building and see something that they haven't understood before. For a lot of our younger visitors, for instance, this hopefully will be something quite new. I hope it will give them some insight into how it happened. This is a fabulous opportunity to show off our Scottish cars. They're beautiful, they're glorious, and we should celebrate them more than we do.